They reckon you can stay, eh? But you're gonna have to behave yourself. G'day, Australia. My name's Warwick Fulton. How you going? A couple of years ago, I got a little bit angry and I said, I think the Southern Cross is becoming the new swastika. It got me in a bit of trouble. Everybody just completely lost their minds. Somehow it resonates deep. That's why I'm making this film, I guess. The Southern Cross lies within the plane of the Milky Way, so if you're looking up at the sky towards the south, yeah. you'll see it. Captain Cook found Australia and he followed the Southern Cross. I see the Southern Cross as a symbol that is dangerous to people like me. You're on Australia. You notice the countries in the world, there's not many that you can be un in. No. Un English? Uh, un Greek? Un New Zealand route. If you ask an Australian what they're proud of, yeah. you know, beers, barbecues, and mates. People talk about the Southern Cross you know, being the greatest trainer symbol. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go back 100,000 years and I'll show you a different perspective. Straight up there, see? The Southern Cross is an emu footprint. Yeah, when he lift his feet up, he put his footprints there, he covers Southern Cross. Everyone's got a different story about the Southern Cross. To teach you about your bun only happened in a certain time when there's a ceremony. We talk to our spirits and they talk back to us. But as a non-Indigenous person, you don't have access to that. What do you think about that? What is it? Follow me. It is. Can you know? It is a sacred, you know? Most people who ink the Southern Cross on their skin would feel that their life is in need of boosting and survival. So there's this symbol on my back that doesn't represent me and that has just been my job. When I look at that constellation, nobody can touch it and nobody can own it. It is not for the tattoos. It is not for themselves. It is for everyone.